welcome back to Aspire to Inspire with Vivian Obrega's YouTube channel. Today joining me again is the very passionate, very talented home cook, Jason Pond. Jason, thanks for being here. Those are very kind words, Becky. Thanks so much for having me. So we are on the conversation again about affordable cooking for all walks of life. Today we are going to be making a very sweet, sour, very savory type stew. So what are we going to be making? Exactly right, Becky. Today we're going to be making a balsamic zucchini and lentil stew. I'm very excited to show you how we're going to make that. Okay, so Jason, let's talk about the ingredients. We have very simple ingredients that we can simply just find in our cupboards and our fridge at home, and we only have to go to the store to buy a very limited amount. That's right. That's exactly right, Becky. So, staples that we probably already have in our cupboard, salt and pepper, of course garlic, we probably have a clove or two lying around, tomato paste, there's a chance you might have a tomato paste can kind of sitting at the back of your cupboard, but if not, I've said at the store, less than a dollar. We have some fresh basil, we have some mustard, and we have some lemon. Those are all very common ingredients. The ones that you might have to go to the store for include the cherry tomatoes, zucchini, and the can of lentils, but as you said, all this is usually in our ordinary shopping list anyway, so nothing out of the ordinary. And then as an optional dish, this is default a nice vegetarian dish, but to add on, I like the smokiness of bacon or even pancetta. It adds a nice savory, meaty flavor to the entire dish. And the key and the star is really the balsamic vinegar. We probably already have balsamic vinegar in our covers. If not, balsamic vinegar, just like any other vinegar, is a self-preservative, so it's not gonna go to waste if you have to pick that up. So all in all, these ingredients really come together to form a nice, savory, oomphy, sour, and sweet stew that really has a lot of body and honestly it can keep for the entire week. So the nice thing about this too, so again it's extremely affordable, so what would you say this whole dish costs to make? I would estimate for a whole dish for a good amount of days if you want it to last that long would be probably just under five six dollars. That's amazing, so mm -hmm. we're talking longevity and lots of nutrients and vitamins in this meal as well. Exactly, like the lentils themselves are a perfect substitute for any protein, they're packed with flavor pack with protein and nutrients. Wonderful, okay, so let's get to it. Where do we start? We're gonna be cutting the cherry tomatoes about a cup and a half whole, and we're just gonna be slicing them in half. So not a lot of work there. Same with the zucchini. We're gonna be slicing them down the middle, lengthwise, and chopping them into squares. We want everything to be very similarly sized, so think evenly, but if there's some rusticity in there, it's not a big deal if there's some odd-shaped pieces. So let's get to the chopping, and then we'll get to the step-by-step -step process. Let's chop, chop. the high sided pan because that gives me the opportunity to stir to make sure things don't move around or fly out of the pan. So I want to bring this up to a medium high heat, take my oil, and I want to give enough, a generous amount, to coat the bottom of the pan because after all I want the oil to run through the final dish. And then I'm going to take my garlic and I'm just going to put it into the cold pan because this is going to help to perfume the oil. Okay, so after I've let the garlic perfume the oil for about three minutes, I'm down to put in my bacon now because the reason why I want to put in my bacon first is because we know this has a lot of fat in it. So what I want to do, I want to give it time to what's called render and that's going to help break down the fat and make it a lot more edible. So I want to hear that sizzle because that sizzle is telling me that the oil is hot enough to let the bacon fat melt down. So I want to let the bacon cook for about a couple minutes and that's going to allow it to really texture up by crispening. But I want to make sure I keep an eye on it so that it doesn't burn. And what's always important to do whenever you're working with something salty, it's always good to pepper it up because it really balances the salt and it just makes sure that you're seasoning as you go to just really make sure the dish is finally seasoned at the end really well. Great, now you got some color in your bacon. Put in the tomatoes and zucchini along with the tomato paste. Stir for a couple minutes to darken the paste. Pour in the balsamic vinegar and the mustard and stir to dissolve. Of course, the star of the dish are the lentils, and this is where it really takes off to another level. Now that the lentils are in, I'm gonna get those mixed in as well. And look, it's already so nicely coming together. Very homogenous. 
Once you put in the lentils, take the sprigs of basil and rip them up in your hands. Let this simmer for about 15 to 30 minutes and you're good to go. All right, Becky, here we go. Here we go, it's done. Here, I'll hold the bowl for you. All right, thank you. There's a little bit of waiting, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Absolutely, so all in all, what would you say in terms of preparation and actually cooking, how long does this take? Honestly, these are one of the things where you really get to make that call. If you want something fast and easy, you can have this from stove to table in 15 minutes, but if you really wanna put in a bit more time in there, a good 30 minutes doesn't kill anyone. And that's when the flavors really develop. That's when things cook down even further and the flavors just concentrate. So that's what I go for. So ultimately this is, this is an all in one. Honestly, it's a, it's a great comfort food without having to feel guilty about it. Oh, absolutely. Look how great this looks. Look at mm -hmm. all the colors. Okay, I'm excited. So Jason, let's give your masterpiece a try. Here right, you go. Alrighty. Okay, I'm gonna grab a piece of zucchini and tomato right there. Mm. Wow. Ooh. This is really good. That zucchini just gives that earthiness and it's balanced it does. with the it's tomato. It's really good. It's citrusy, it's sweet, it's just everything you could ask for. And that balsamic vinegar. All yeah, over. it makes a huge difference. It does. it does. Well, Jason, thank you so much. I really appreciate you doing this. Honestly, it's such, a, it's such an honor. Thank you, Becky. Thank you. So we will have the full ingredients and the full directions uh, listed below in the details, but in the meantime, we are going to eat a little bit more. Go on for seconds. Don't mind if I do. <laughs>